In this lesson we will start to refine the animation a little bit and first of all I want to deal with my two pre-animated video files, so the brush PNG sequence and my splatter MOV video file. So in my opinion the brush animation is a little bit too slow and we also have this problem of course that right in the end here when we reach the out point of our video layers that they both disappear. So we need to fix that. And to fix these issues we can use an effect that's called time remapping. Time remapping is a very cool effect that lets you change the playback of a video file through time by applying keyframes. To activate time remapping you can select the layer and then right click and then you can come up here to time and choose time remapping or enable time remapping. The keyboard shortcut is Ctrl, Alt and T. You can also access this menu by coming up here to our layer menu in the application menu and here you can find the time options as well. So let's enable time remapping for our brush layer and you see that now After Effects applied the time remap effect and it also created two keyframes. And you also see that now I can extend the out point and also the in point of my layer. Let's undo this for now. If I select the other video file, you see that here I have these small black triangles and I cannot extend these here because we do not have more information than these frames. With the time remapping effect though, I can now extend my layer and this is pretty important. So how does the time remapping work? Let's solo our brush layer for now by clicking the solo switch here to make this a little bit more obvious. First of all, I can change the playback speed of my animation for certain areas of my video file. So let's take a look at our file and let's see. You see the animation is happening between the in point and ends right here at around 1 second 23 or 24 frames. So now I can set a keyframe right here. So let's apply a keyframe and you see nothing changed. The build-up animation still lasts for about one and a half seconds. If I want to speed this up now, I can grab this keyframe by clicking on it and then I can drag it, let's say, to about one second, right here. And now you see that the build-up animation will happen within the first 12 frames of our video file. And then it will just stay and will be visible more or less as a still frame. So this is how time remapping works. You can set keyframes and then you can manipulate the distance between these keyframes or the time, the duration between these keyframes by shifting these keyframes. I could also slow down the build-up animation, so I take this last keyframe that I created and I move it here to the end of our clip. And you see now the build-up animation lasts more than two and a half seconds. I could also come in here and add more keyframes. So let's say if I want to speed up the first half of the build-up, I could come in here and create a new keyframe. Now I drag this keyframe to the beginning here. Now the first half of the build-up will happen within these few frames here. You see, like so. And then the second half will be very slow and will happen between these two keyframes here. If you want to get rid of the time remapping effect, you could come in here, select the effect here and press delete on your keyboard and you see now the standard video file is restored. Let's take a look what other options we have with time. So let's right click here and let's come to time and let's take a look at the time reverse layer. I think that this is pretty self-explanatory. If I click this, you see that now After Effects adds this slightly bluish line here and now the animation is just reversed. So in the beginning it's fully animated and then it animates off our screen. So let's press Ctrl C to undo this. Let's right click and select time again and let's take a look at the time stretch option. The time stretch option is a simple effect to change the duration of a clip. You can either do this by a time stretch factor which is in percent or you can do this by changing the duration with a time code. So let's say I want to speed up this clip that it is twice as fast therefore I can type in a time stretch factor of 50%. 
then you see the new duration will be 1 second and 13 frames instead of 3 seconds. So let's click OK. And you see now my clip is very short and the speed doubled. Let's undo this by pressing Ctrl and C on our keyboard. Let's right click and let's take a look at another option. This is the option called freeze frame. If you select this option, then you see that After Effects, wherever your time indicator is sitting, will add a hold keyframe and will add the time remap effect. So it will add the time remap effect and a hold keyframe. Hold keyframes are a special uh, keyframe type. Uh, we will talk about these a little bit later, but the effect of this is that now nothing changes anymore and this is actually acting as it would be just an image. So let's undo this by pressing Ctrl C on our keyboard. Now our animation is restored. Let's come in here one more time, right click and let's take a look at the last option that we have and this is freeze on last frame. Freeze on last frame is actually very nice in our case because this is exactly what we want. So I will zoom out here for now. And you see now After Effects added also the time remapping effect and it added a hold keyframe on the out point. So now I can drag out my element here or my layer, the end point of my layer, right to the out point of our composition. And now you see that our stroke will be visible through our 10 seconds and it will not disappear again. So this is exactly what we want to use. So let's use this also on our splatter movie. Let's activate this by clicking the solo switch here that it is visible for now. Now let's right click, let's come up here to time and let's choose freeze on last frame. Now what I want to do is I want to speed up the animation of our brush soak a little bit. So let's take a look here. Let's enable all of our layers again by deactivating the solo switches for our two video files. And let's take a look here. So the end of the animation is around two seconds. So I will add a keyframe on my brush layer here on the time remapping effect by clicking the add keyframe button here. So let's say this should be already finished animating on before our After Effects logo is landing here. So let's drag this keyframe to around one second and seven frames of our animation. And now this is way faster. So let's create a quick RAM preview. Let's set our work area to around three seconds. Press N on our keyboard to bring in the endpoint of the work area. And now let's press spacebar to create a RAM preview. And I think that the timing now is quite good. Okay, so this is it for this lesson. Now you know how you can manipulate uh, video files or PNG sequences by using the time remapping effect. In the next video, we will take a look how we can make this animation a little bit more interesting by adding a bit of motion blur.